In a significant move to deepen defense industry collaboration, the United Kingdom has launched a concerted lobbying campaign to persuade South Korea to pivot from using General Electric's F-414 engine toward a jointly developed power plant with Rolls-Royce for the next-generation KF-21 Borame fighter jets. This strategic initiative seeks to bolster bilateral industrial ties and reinvigorate the UK's defense manufacturing capabilities. The heart of the issue lies in stringent US export controls applied to the GE F414 engines currently powering the KF21, which complicates Seoul's efforts to market the fighter to key export customers like the United Arab Emirates and Indonesia. These restrictions, rooted in US national security policies, hinder South Korea's ambitions to expand its defense exports while reducing dependency on US controlled technologies. Hanwha Aerospace, South Korea's principal defense manufacturer and the licensed assembler of the F-414 GE 400K engine, is actively pursuing a domestic engine development program. According to Kwangman Lee, Hanwha's Aero Systems chief, the company targets producing an indigenous fighter engine by 2036, budgeting around $3.7 billion for this venture. Hanwha's extensive experience in licensed engine production, development of smaller propulsion systems, and solid domestic supply chains underpin confidence in meeting this timeline. Plans include tripling engineering staff to 600, building a $30 million facility domestically, and opening research centers in the US and Europe. Hanwha envisions its future engine surpassing the F-414 in thrust and efficiency, aiming for mass production by the mid-2030s with export prospects in Southeast Asia, the Middle East, and Eastern Europe. However, skepticism remains among South Korean defense analysts and international experts regarding Hanwha and Doosan Enerbility's ability to deliver a modern high-thrust fighter engine within the desired timeframe. In response, British officials propose a collaborative development with Rolls-Royce as an interim step, reducing risks, accelerating progress, and fostering a long-term industrial partnership. Rolls-Royce, which is also engaged in a similar partnership for India's AMCA fighter, promotes full intellectual property transfer to ensure partner nations retain operational independence and export control. Geopolitical realities complicate matters. South Korea's long-standing security alliance with the U.S. involves overlapping defense procurements, with Hanwha bidding on U.S. Navy contracts and maintaining aircraft in Asia. South Korea also leverages defense deals diplomatically to balance its $55 billion trade surplus with Washington. GE, with over six decades in Korea, remains committed to the KF-21 project and recently inked deals with India for co-producing the F-414 engine. Yet, GE restricts some intellectual property due to U.S. security rules, contrasting with Rolls-Royce and Francis Safran, which offer complete technology transfers in their respective Indian fighter programs. As of mid-2025, GE Aerospace continues licensed production of the F-414 for the KF-21 through 2027, while Hanwha progresses toward an indigenous engine target for 2036, supported by South Korea's Defense Acquisition Program Administration, DAPA. The F-414 GE 400K is a twin-spool afterburning turbofan delivering up to 98 knots thrust with afterburner and about 65.7 knots dry thrust. Derived from the F-404, it incorporates advanced digital controls, blisks, and heat-resistant materials. It powers fighters including the F divided by a minus 18 E divided by F Super Hornet, Saab Gripen E, and Haltagius MK2. However, its export remains tightly regulated by U.S. authorities, limiting downstream sales of aircraft equipped with it. The enhanced performance engine variant, F414 EPE, promises 117 knots thrust and better thrust-to-weight ratio but remains under development and unavailable for the KF-21. Rolls-Royce's proposal focuses not on off-the-shelf engines like the EJ-200 for the Eurofighter Typhoon, but on co-creating a new engine surpassing the F-414 in thrust and fuel efficiency. This project may leverage technologies from the uk japan Elite Global Combat Air Program, GCAP, and Rolls-Royce's Tempest Demonstrator, incorporating features such as adaptive cycles, advanced cooling, new materials, and super-cruise capability.
Crucially, it would include full intellectual property transfer, enabling South Korea to evade U.S. export restrictions and market the KF-21 to a wider customer base. Rolls-Royce's similar proposal to India targets about 110 knots thrust, aligning with South Korea's ambitions for a next-generation power plant. South Korea's goal is to develop engines delivering 110 to 120 knots thrust, supporting upgraded KF-21 variants or future fifth-generation fighters. While the F-414's output is adequate for current twin-engine fighters, increasing payload, range, and efficiency demands a more powerful and economical engine. A Rolls-Royce collaboration could tailor propulsion to these evolving needs, freeing Seoul from third-party licensing and intellectual property limitations. Additionally, an engine optimized for land-based multi-role fighters rather than carrier operations could improve fuel economy and reduce life cycle costs. The final engine choice will decisively impact the KF-21 program's operational capabilities, export potential, and industrial sovereignty. Though the GE F414 is a proven platform integrated across multiple fighters worldwide, its export controls and limited IP access increasingly restrict South Korea's strategic ambitions. Rolls-Royce's offer promises enhanced autonomy, technology sharing, and a durable partnership that could elevate South Korea's defense manufacturing stature. This decision transcends technical considerations, reflecting Seoul's broader intent to solidify its position as a self-reliant global player in advanced aerospace propulsion.